Hello and welcome back to Deadmish Gaming and today we are back with War Thunder. What is this madness? Why have I been playing War Thunder recently? Well, I'll give you one answer to that question. But before that, this happens. How I didn't die there is beyond me. Um, I've been playing War Thunder because, well, the tank's balancing. As we have the Bobjet, Type 5 Heavy, Artillery Stuns, and it gets a little bit too much sometimes, so I have to resort to playing other games instead. And so, War Thunder. I've been enjoying it, actually. I know this might surprise you, but yeah, it's been very fun. Because you don't have to deal with artillery, <laughs> objects, whatnot, you know? But this tank annoys me, the MAA1. Because when you try and fire the heat rounds, it takes so long to travel. Shell velocity is so low, it's painful. So, what we're going to do here is climb up this hill and. As is, the, as is our plan here. Oh, whoops, that's what I meant to do. plan is to shoot over there. But as you can see, and something, this is something I didn't realise until it was way too late, the shots aren't going straight. They're curving to the right because I'm on an upward inclination. I should have realised that sooner, but I didn't, so this whole experience is just going to be a bit of a waste of time, unfortunately for me. So we're going to speed this bit of the replay up because it's not particularly eventful. Till there of course. Look at all of that damage there, that is not pleasant in the slightest. So we're just going to sit here and wait for the madness to end. Look at how many of the enemy are up there. It's such a shame I wasn't in another vehicle. Like, uh, or anything with a faster firing. Well, anything with shells with a higher shell velocity is what I'm trying to say there. I could have done a, a lot more damage if I had chosen such a vehicle. And look how graceful that was as well. Beautiful, eh? So now our plan is to try and find some flatter ground to shoot from, which will hopefully allow us to put in some shots. And as we see a T-50, and I can see him, and I'm aiming the shot, but as our shell velocity, it takes such a long time for it to reach its mark, and then I get hit by something. And as you heard there, one of our crew members is knocked out. Actually, they both are by the looks of it. So, there's not really much we can do, other than sit here and hope we don't die. I see that B1 there. And the shots are just awful. And that we're seeing a cell 40, and oh, oh, not quite, but I think that was close. If we can feather this, if we just... Just aim it right. There we go. Hit as well. Hit into the cupola. We knock out one of the <laughs> crew. And they have a pumpkin somehow. Tank. I don't even know how they had that. But as you can see behind us. Well not yet actually. But you can see. That there is a push for C cap. Coming soon. And I can see that keenly outlined. But I don't think I have line of sight unfortunately. And there it is, he's being capped, and I don't realise this. I'm so focused on trying to burn a shot to these guys. But every time, I just can't get the aiming right with these heat rounds. Because you have to aim so much higher to get the right trajectory. And it's just not happening. The shots just aren't going in. And there it is. We've lost C, and now they're capping it. The enemy is capping it. And I'm trying to feather a shot. It hit but it didn't really do any damage. 
unfortunately for me. So yeah, like I said, this is quite uneventful until C is capped and you see B is being capped as well. And I realise now that we need to try and uncap. And you see that Crusader? Yeah, the issue is I didn't see that Crusader. I was so busy trying to uncap, uh, decap B that this Crusader puts one into me. So that was a very poorly played part on my, well, my part, I suppose. And they have all three caps. And this is going to be an uphill battle from here. So this is when I bring out this vehicle, the M5A1 5th Armored Division. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I got this for playing one of the one of the beaters, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. I'd have to look into that a little bit. But yeah, it's just how long I've been playing this game. But I took a two-year hiatus. So I haven't really been able to show it off much, you know? And oh, that is a that is a plane. And I'm trying to get the hits in here. I remember, bearing in mind this is arcade, so it does actually give me leads and such. I'm trying to see that T50. I'm not sure if he's looking at me or not. I can't really tell. I'm falling back behind these rocks so I can deal with this plane that's coming for me. Look at that. It looks so stupid, doesn't it? There he is. Trying to light him up with my machine gun fire here. That was a hit. I'm not actually sure why it isn't giving me the lead. It should do. But then that's when I get hit. So I've got to try and get into cover. Because I do not want to die. I set off an artillery for the B cap. There's another plane to our left, but can't quite deal with that at the moment. We've got to try and take care of these tanks. I shoot the T-50 in the side of the turret, but he manages to worm away, unfortunately. And I don't really get the chance to hit him for a while. And there comes that dastardly plane flying in, but he pays for that as uh, one of our teammates knocks him out. You see that B-1 on that ridge? He's, such, he's in such a strong position up there. Trying to get the shot, but I haven't really got the power to penetrate straight through the front of that turret. So I'm not in a good position here at all. But then I see that T50, and I ricochet. That's really unfortunate. I should have just aimed it slightly more to the left than I would have went in, I imagine. And then that's when I realised, oh shoot, there are three planes coming in. How are we going to deal with this? So that Yak-1 is flying past, and this SB-2M is not. He's flying right next to me, so I'm hoping I can get in at least one shot. I'm trying to light him up. He's taking damage, you can tell. But unfortunately, I think he might get away. Oh, he's coming back round, and I can't shoot him. My gun can't aim high enough, so I've got to hope that I hit him here. And he drops his bomb, so I've got to reverse here and spin myself around to try and knock him out. But look at that score. We are very much losing this one, folks. How are we going to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat here? Well, I realise we haven't got much of an opportunity to win here. We captured C. So if we capture B, we can stop losing tickets. So I make a B line to B. And this vehicle is very quick, luckily for me. And look at that. I thought I was done for there. I thought I was done for, but luckily I think we got away with that one. Without taking too much damage. So here I am. I've arrived at the B cap. And look at all those vehicles there. M5A1, trying to put in a shot. We haven't got much time, as I said. Panzer 3 f presents himself as a much easier target, and I one-shot him, which is lucky. And we've got some support there, and that Tetrarch. One to take out, preferably. Two shots it takes to take him out. 
and there's a Panzer Free F, and this is a this is something that's going to take a long, long time. I should have changed ammo at this point, so I could have the more damaging shots going in here. But I'm wrecking his vehicle. I'm just not quite getting the kill. I've basically destroyed all of his modules, but then he gets taken out. There's a plane coming in. Try and put one into him. And that's when I get hit. This is very hectic. Getting shot, and there he comes. He comes in. But he flies off, luckily for us. And we're, they're capping B. I'm not actually on B, and I just got uh, damaged there by that artillery, I suppose. <laughs> that counts as my kill. Because I just managed to machine gun him before he hit, hit the ground. And we have B. There is very much potential to win this game now. I look over here to see if I can put in any shots. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can. So, I want to try and put some pressure up on the enemy here. I see there are some enemies down here, and I want to try and snipe them a little bit. That Yak one is flying too quickly, really, for me to be able to hit him reliably. I can see the non enemy shots are really hitting their mark at all. Unfortunately, I mean, there's a nice little roll. I do manage to get in a few hits, but nothing major, as far as I can see. I've got plenty of ammo, so I'm not too concerned about using it. Well, I was going to hit him here at least, but unfortunately not. So now C is being contested and we cannot let them keep C for too long. We need to make sure you get as many points as possible. So I use my artillery to try and... Uh, I actually hit the gas with the artillery, which is quite good. Which kind of stops them in their tracks a little bit. And I'm waiting here to shoot down on the Shiha and that was a nice little shot there. Hit another one into the turret, another one in the front of the vehicle, and it takes him out. And there's an M5A1 there, but I can't quite get the angle on him. Unfortunately. So our team is capping C. And we've narrowed it down by quite a large degree. This is going to be much easier to win now. And I can see this M5A1... And let's start putting in shots. There we go, look at all that damage. It's not looking good for his tank. That one ricochets, the angle was too much there. Try peppering him with machine gun fire, but it doesn't really do much. You see this ammo, while this gun is quick firing, it doesn't have the most damaging factor to it. But finally we take him out after what felt like an eternity. And there's a Panzer free J there, who I see. I want to do some damage to. He's going down the slope, and I try and hit the top of his tank. So I can cause a fire or something, hopefully. Shooting the turret. And I've switched to this, the other ammo here, the secondary ammo, which is slightly more damaging. See, I'm doing, I'm doing damage, but the caliber is so low that it's not the most extreme and somebody else takes him out. But I get the assist. And they're kind of screwed at this point. It's to have the sort of strength to decap is not going to be but they hardly have any tanks. We've got more tanks than they have. So they're not going to have the initiative here. And that takes one shot from that S-35 straight into the front. And at this point, realise they're kind of screwed. There's nothing they can do. If they want, they can't really cap all of these places in time. And I see that pain to free F, and I want to try and get the kill, but none of these rocks should the play, really. And that is about it, folks. So that was a f furious game with a nice ending. 
bringing it back from what seemed like certain defeat. I've got the gun question there. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more War Thunder videos in the future, I shall happily do some. Let's see, I come third in this battle. Thanks for watching again, folks, and uh, I'll catch you next time.